Hello everyone and welcome to this another unboxing video. Now, I've already opened up the packaging so I got the models out so I'll be showing you to you guys. First up is the most hated character, Billy! Okay, I gotta stop. Now I got this guy along with some five other engines so the reason I bought him because I just feel like I want to get the character here just for a, uh, you know, I don't know, I just feel like I want to get him. I, I don't know why, but I feel like I want to get him because I wanted to make him a better character other than just how he acted or how he was back in season 11. Yeah, Billy is just the most hated character now. Get him. Oh, sorry, Billy. I'll get him out, so put him right here, so. Next up is a talking Percy. Now, I noticed the face is smudged, so uh, I'll clean that up if I, after I'm done with this video. And there's a smudge on his sides as well, so. And he's a talking version because, yeah. It runs on the batteries down there, so I'll have to put them in. If it doesn't work, then it's okay. I'll just keep him. Next up, we got Oh wait, hold on, we gotta do a comparison. All right. As you see here, look at the differences between him and Percy right here. The take along model. Yeah, it's just the wheel right here, it's for uh for the lights to shine like that. Oh like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you see the difference here for the model. And so that's Percy here. Next up, we have James. Now, James is not even in the best condition because his face is crooked here, and it's just about to fall off, and he has a missing bogey wheel. Which is fine, because I'm gonna be using this guy here for a custom accurate James model. Because honestly, I don't like how this looks from here, but that's just my personal opinion on it So the reason I got him is because of tender here because Here is my other James which I got back in 2023 I guess is that uh He doesn't have a tender because he doesn't even have one So that's why I got this James here just for the tender right there So now James is no longer a tenderless engine So yeah so yeah, I'm dab enough. So I'll just put him right here. Next up is the most obscure of these two is these guys here. I just got these guys for from these three here. Now Gator here. Don't be don't get me wrong, I kinda like the design, but the problem is the f magnets right there. Why is it so big? Why did he have to use the wooden railing magnets? It just look ridiculous on him. It just doesn't even, I, it doesn't even look like a take and play model at all. It's just basically like, what if wooden railway and take along and take and play are just basically fused together and we get this abomination? Yeah, and that's how. It, it, and the magnets are corroded. Yeah, this is why nobody likes to take and play because I don't like the big fat magnets at all because they're too big, and even yet, they don't even couple up to each other now. It's just, it just sucks right there. It, you could only couple them up like this, and not this way, not that way, none of that, so, yeah. And this Thomas here, I have nothing much else to say about this guy, but he's alright. I, I think that's a paint ship, I think, but I don't even care, so, you know. So, yeah, and that's it for this. Um, wait, hold on. Here's a comparison with my childhood, childhood adventures, Thomas. Yeah, you can tell how much scratched up he is, and so much markers everywhere. My God, what did I do to him? And personally, I prefer the, the adventures slash collectible rallies models because they had better couplings like this, other than than this like wooden railing magnets put into a take and play model which I don't like so anyways uh, that's it for this unboxing video so I hope you like what I got and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video
Bye-bye.